Oh, what have I hooked? Dude, it's a monster. Guys, I've absolutely hooked a monster here. Uh, he is way out. He's taking out a ton of line. He's still going. He's still going. Stay hooked, big fish. What's up guys? I'm super excited about today. Guys, today is a very special episode. I have been invited to stay on a beautiful piece of property here on the Watauga River called the Stillwater Flats. And guys, this is a brand new area. There's four cabins that have been built and we get to stay one night with my family to go experience what it's all about. Go over to the river, of course, do a little fishing and just have a lot of fun with friends and family. So without further ado, let's go check out the cabin. All right guys, so check this out. Really nice vaulted ceilings here. Beautiful beam that comes across. We've also got an island right here. Really, really nice. And man, I mean, check out this kitchen. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you wanna talk about staying on the river and just a really beautiful place, this is it. Uh, the living room goes directly out. The river's right there. And then check out this porch. We'll get to that in a minute. Huge screen TV, We've got a fireplace right here. Guys, this cabin is absolutely amazing. I mean, just check out the ceiling here. It's got a beautiful chandelier, got a lot of cool details. This property is so new that we're actually staying before they've even finished putting in all of the decorations. But as you guys can see, it's an absolutely high-end establishment here on the Watauga River, which is really cool. You get your stove, microwave, They've actually got some really cool coffee mugs branded with Stillwater's flats on them. Let's check out the master bedroom here. I mean, check this out. We've got another TV right here. We've got custom artwork in the corner that's actually still being painted, which is really cool. He's got a lot of custom things going into each cabin, which I think is a really nice touch. Another uh, door that goes out to the, the patio right here. And you guys can see, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. And then we've got the river right down there um nice big bed and then let me show you guys the bathroom real quick so guys the bathroom in here really really beautiful um it's got actually a, a really it's like a digital mirror which is really really cool got a lot of different things here soaps shampoos of course the toilet and then check out this giant shower um this is just one of the two bathrooms there are two full bathrooms on this property so guys so far i've shown you one master bedroom the kitchen the living room that's all kind of right here behind me but here's the fun part we actually have a hidden bedroom with another full bath let's go check it out so check it out right behind this wall right here you just push and look at this it opens right up we've got another full bath check that out another giant shower which is just super cool also, just behind me here, this is a nice add-on in case you're doing an extended stay. We've got the washer and dryer right here. And then let me turn around, check this out. We've got another giant flat screen TV, really nice, comfortable bed here, fan. And then right out here, we've actually drawn the curtains, but this also goes out to the porch. Check out that jacuzzi. How cool is that? So guys, this is a really, really cool place. I'm really lucky that me and my family get to stay here for the evening. Of course, we're gonna go out to the river soon and see if we can catch some fish and uh, just enjoy ourselves here on this property, but absolutely outstanding location, really high-end feel. It's one of the nicer places that I've seen on the river. And guys, it's brand new, so soon you'll be able to rent this place for yourself. For big events, there's four cabins here. We're staying in just one of the four, and uh, it's just a really special treat. All right, guys, so we're out here on the porch. I just walked out from the living room, which just slides right open here. And check it out, guys. So this is the first of four to go in for installments. This is the first jacuzzi, so we're gonna be the first people to use it tonight. Pretty excited about that. Um, but really, really nice. Check out the view. Heather and uh, Parker are walking down to the river right now. Um, and just check that out, guys. How beautiful is that? We've got chairs out there, hammocks completely i mean check that out blue herrings flying by right now it's absolutely an awesome property um and you can tell they just finished it everything about this is just beautiful all right guys so now we're going to walk down to the river let me show you the rest of the property so guys recently we've had some pretty intense april showers not a surprise this time of year but unfortunately that has blown out the river a bit for fishing so i'm going to show you anyway we're still going to give it a shot we're still of course going to try to fish um but let me go ahead and show you we've got chairs along the river right here really really beautiful 
it kind of transitions right here so it goes from really shallow to deeper out there as the main channel of the river got some hammocks over here it's just a really pleasant pleasant setup the guys i mean they've got chairs running all along fire pits goes all the way to that bridge over there underneath the bridge and around is actually another property as well it's just a really pretty spot here on the wataga on the far end there's no development other than just somebody's driveway that runs all the way around the corner this is one of the cool parts about this property they actually have kayaks that you can grab and go and just hit the river of course you have to have a life jacket but check it out they've got a couple different options here as well as some more on the other side of the property and uh how cool is that to be able to just grab a kayak jump on the river and go uh, it's just such a cool setup here it's it, they've put a lot of thought into this a lot of time a lot of effort and uh you know it's cool to be able to be here when they're finally done and people are finally able to enjoy it and uh, that's why we're here today so guys um today one of the people that's going to be hanging out with me is none other than chad uh, or known on the channel as buckets and uh, he'll be staying at the cabin next door to us guys tonight there's going to be a big uh, party slash cookout here on the property to celebrate um, just all the effort that's gone into this place and uh, we'll be invited to join them on that which i'm excited about because it sounds like there's going to be some good food in the meantime once chad gets here we're gonna hit the river see if we can catch something all right guys so it's muddy i got buckets right over here we're gonna rig up some tuppies i got some leftover tuppies from the other day i was helping a buddy catch some crappie out on boone lake and i uh, got some leftovers so we're gonna put them to good use throw them out here see what we can catch this is the lower section of watauga river so we're not far from winged Deer park and that means that there's all sorts of stuff that are going to start pushing up in here i mean it's april guys so that means that we got striper coming up there's even a chance for bass to push up here. I mean, most likely it's just going to be trout, but that's what makes this area interesting. But here's the thing about a trout. Oops, sorry. Here's the thing about trout. When it's flooded, this is where they come is to the edge, to areas where it's softer. So if we're going to catch a fish, it's most likely going to be right here. I'll do everything for you. You don't have to do a thing. He's like, I'll, I'll set you up in the blind. <gasps> fish on. Okay. All right. All right. One, one just ripped one off right here, right here. Drop it in, drop it in right here. Look at these boys just getting after it. <laughs> All right, guys, we just had an excellent meal. Everybody's eating behind us, a little bit of hibachi, but this whole time we've been staring at the river right behind us. And there's this, this one monster fish keeps coming up. So I said, as soon as I'm done eating, we gotta try to get this guy, so let's do it. All right, guys, I have no idea how deep it is here. But there's definitely a monster fish nearby that has been coming up and eating. And it would be pretty amazing if it ate the toughy. It's a big fish. If it's a trout, it's one that's well over 20 inches. And we'll just have to see what happens and if he's still in the area. But he's been coming up a lot. Fish on. Big fish, big fish. Big fish, can you grab the net for me, Chad? It's big, guys. It's a big, big fish. It's big, let's yeah, do it, let's do it. Running. That's a big fish, guys. You get him right here, I guess. I'm in trouble if he gets to that bank over there. I'm gonna have to tighten it a little bit. Oh, uh, he is just running down river. It's a big fish. We knew it was big, but oh my gosh, guys! Over here. I know. <sighs> this is big. I'm scared right now. Ah! <sighs> uh, uh -oh, let me run and try to catch up to it a little bit. <sighs> if he gets in that current, I'm in real trouble. Oh, what have I hooked? That is huge. Dude, it's a monster. Guys, I've absolutely hooked a monster here. That's gotta be a brown, man. Oh, dude, if it's a brown, this is a monster brown. The problem is he's getting in that current down there and I can't go any further. Uh, I'm running out of property line. Guys, we have got a monster on. This is unbelievable. Uh, he is way out. He's taking out a ton of line. He's still going. He's still going. 
Stay hooked, big fish. I chose bigger test. I'm glad I did. Still running. I know. There you go. Do you see him? No, but it sounds. I think you got him. Uh, he stopped. He stopped. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, he's kind of moving up this way. He's still way out in the middle though. There's so many, there's so much debris I don't know about. Guys, I'm making just a little bit of progress here. I've turned his head, so he's coming back, but there's a lot of debris. There's a lot of current. Chad, come back this way a little bit. We'll work together. Gosh, there's a lot of debris here. I've come down to the edge of the property here, guys, but boy, this is huge. I don't know what it is, guys. I don't, I honestly don't. It's, it's so big and ran so far. There's no telling what it is. Oh gosh. Had like striper vibes a little bit the way it's fighting. Is there any chance it's a smallie? No. No, 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 no. smallie can't fight like this. This is too big for smallie. This is either striper or brown trout or perhaps a big old, a big old carp or something. This is huge. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling, dude. I mean, he is coming in. He is coming in. We've turned his head, but that initial run was insane. It was. I heard it. Oh, dude, I'm so nervous. Like, <laughs> like my heart's pounding right now. If this is a brown trout, dude, it could be. I mean, this this is the land of the giants here. I mean, this is where big fish come, but this could be something like a striper too. We said earlier when the shadows got over here, something was going to happen. Yeah, guys, I cannot. I mean, look at this. We've got a. We got a. <laughs> Cookout happening behind us. Come on. <laughs> and now we've hooked it, the big fish. I'm pumping him in slowly, guys. He's turned in, but he is so far out. I don't know if we're going to land him or not. I got to just keep that tension. This is a pretty small hook, so there's a lot that can go wrong here. Okay. <sighs> He's slowly coming in, but I mean slow. This is a not yet. Honestly, my heart's just like pounding because I'm so nervous right now. There's few fish in the river that can do what just happened. So I'm very curious right now. Oh, I'm really grateful I've got the rod and the line on that I have right now because this is a heavier test. Whew, guys, this is nuts. Maybe. <laughs> I'm grateful Buckets is here, people. <laughs> I need help landing in this fish. It's a beast. Yeah. And he's, I mean, he's just, oh, he's huge. We do. We do. I'm hoping that he kind of, I was a little nervous he might because all this debris. I wasn't going to be able to get there. He's coming. You get him right here. That's, that's the goal. That's the goal. You get him right there, that's going to be tough. But I will go in the water for this. I will too. <laughs> okay, he's coming this way. Here we go. Yeah, he's coming in now. Back out. That's okay. As long as he's in the middle, I'm happy because there's less debris there. That's a monster, man. Almost caught it. Just go out further than this. That's it. <sighs> That's so big, dude. I just want to see it, man. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it's not the biggest of nets. Get out of there. Look at all those caddis coming off the water right there. All right, I'm going to try to get him up. I'm going to try to get him up. This is a monster. go into my knees or waist for this. I'm just afraid the line's going to snap or something crazy is going to happen. I'm prepared to make a jump right here. He's coming up here. He's, he's actually moving in position, which is yep, great. Is oh, I see the bobber. We're getting it. Come on, baby. Oh, I saw the side of it. It was a big. It's big, man. Yep. It's really big. Oh, I can't tell what it is. I can't either. It's big. It may be a striper. It's a striper. It's a striper. 
come on. It's a striper. We're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get your he his head in the front of the net. It's a giant. Oh, dude, that's huge. Huge striper. Daddy. Careful now, careful, careful. Hold on. I'm gonna bring him in. All right, get his head right in there. In there, in there. Yep. Back yeah. Oh. Woo. Yeah, baby. Let's go. It's a monster. <laughs> striper. That's a striper right there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Break your net, dude. I caught the striper out here on the river. <laughs> That's a big. Is it? Here we go. Guys. Is it on right here? Yeah, it's rolling. Yeah, just pointed at me. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Big striped wow. bass here on the river. Unbelievable. Yeah, touch him. Touch him. Look at that. Then I'll eat. Back water because they're more. Right. Take a picture of that. All right, right around 30 at the tip of the tail there, guys. Yeah, wow. Sweet. Wow. All righty. Can well, I touch him one All right, one last time. We got to let him go. Oh. All right, let's say goodbye. Stop. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Look at him. You can see him swimming. There he goes. That's the biggest fish I ever seen. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was fun, guys. I think we saw him feeding earlier, but I just tossed in a toughie and game on. <laughs> so, guys, the sun's coming up. It's another beautiful day. Uh, unfortunately, the river is just super blown out still. I mean, it's it's very muddy. It's hard to, to fish it. It uh, doesn't mean you can't catch fish out here if you throw crankbaits or even if you're a fly fisherman, you throw streamers in this type of water. But I guarantee you guys, when it's clear, it's such a good fishery through here. So it's definitely an awesome property. I was so lucky last night to catch that uh, that big striper. That was just awesome. Uh, so anyway, we've really enjoyed our time here. I can tell you that the beds are super comfortable. My wife cannot get over them. We got to hang out in the jacuzzi last night. The kids say they don't want to leave. So we've had a really good experience here. And uh, if you guys are interested, I'll leave information in the link below this video so you guys can check it out and experience this place for yourself. If you guys are interested in more striper videos, I've got a fun one right here. Or perhaps you're interested in a fly fishing video on a drift boat with my good friend, Logan Shell. I've got one right here. Till next time, tight lines. Yeah.